Welcome sa internet! Usually, when you enter a PC shop like this one, you're wondering, magkano ba yung mga to? Magkano yung mga CPU, GPU, PSU? And this video is supposed to answer that. We've been tracking the prices of CPUs and GPUs dito sa atin sa Pinas for almost 3 years now. So, Price Watch comes out once a month. We will get to the prices, but first of all, we have a big announcement. How we get at the prices is that we survey the four largest PC retailers in the country. Tapos, we get the average prices of the models that we're looking at. For the first time ever, yung nga, almost three years na tayo, we are removing one shop. We never tell you the names of the shops because we don't want them to get free publicity. Yung Hardware Sugar lang dapat maka free publicity dito sa channel natin. And the reason for removing them is that hindi na sila helpful sa data natin. If you've been noticing the shop that we call Roy, because all of the names na we, we give the shop pseudonyms, aliases, all of the aliases are famous pilots from science fiction. Si Roy is Roy Foker from Robotech. Yun nga, itong si Roy, matagal na na yung mga models na trinitrack natin, wala siyang stock. So it kind of defeats the purpose of trying to get the average price if we can't get those prices of those models. So we're introducing Husker. Si Husker, call sign of the Elder Adama from Battlestar Galactica. But anyway, if you're not a sci-fi geek, Basically, it's just an anonymous name so that we don't name the shop directly. But the shop is one of the largest shops in the country. More geared siya to consumers, hindi yung PZ enthusiasts. But I was really surprised na all of the models or most of the models that we track, nandun sa kanila. So, Roy is out, Husker is in, and hopefully that makes for better data para maka-decide ka na if now is the time to buy or hold muna. Pero bago nun, show some love to our sponsor and we're gonna tell you about the easiest way and the cheapest way to activate your Windows. So ka na ba sa unactivated Windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsindigi ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sudden depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Actually, I want to start with Amazon versus Philippines because shut out na tayo dito. When we started doing this back in May, ang interesting ng prices kasi usually inisip natin mas mahal sa atin. But last May, that was not the case. Mas mahal yung karamihan sa Amazon. But if you guys remember, daming mga tariff issues, what not, might, you know, might be resolved at this point. But basically, Wala tayong panalo in August. <laughs> Everything, all of the items that we tracked are more expensive here in the Philippines for August. And by like a lot, uh, like 50-70, 17% more expensive, 90-70, 16% more expensive. The w item with the smallest gap is the 40-60. And you just not, you know, not even the latest. More than around 12% difference for the 50-60. So the world has gone back to normal. Mas mahal na ulit sa atin. But we'll do the summary first. So 16.50 more expensive by around 300 pesos. So itong 1650 may asim pa rin eh. You notice it pops up and down. In fact, last month was the best price at below 8K. And then all of the other months this year, above 8K siya. So, you know, everybody talks about the latest and greatest GPUs, but especially in our market, may market share pa rin. There's still a demand for these older cards. 3050 actually went down by a lot. More than a thousand peso drop. So that's quite significant. 3060, 12 gigabytes, price increase. Yun nga, again, there's still a demand for the older cards, especially for... A model with a lot of VRAM like this one. 4060 price decrease. 5060 slight price increase. Same with the 5070. 
Same with the 5070 Ti. So you notice the 50 series. Last month, we mentioned na ang ganda ng mga prices. Lahat ng mga 50 series na tinatrack natin last month, bumagsak yung prices. This month, the prices have gone up, but just slightly. Except for the 5080, which went up by around 4,000, 5,000 pesos or so. So even relative to its large price, medyo malaki yung price drop ng 5080. Maganda sana tong 76K last July, although last May it was at 75K. Again, dito sa summary, these are the average prices of the four shops. 5090 though has gone down. It's currently at 160K average price, which is its best price since we've started tracking it last April. So, kung if you're in the market for a 5090, now might be time to pull the trigger. For the rest of us, like me, medyo mahal pa rin yung 160K, ipon-ipon muna. On to the AMD GPUs, I do have to apologize. I wasn't very clear last month na itong 9060 XT, we are tracking the 16 gigabyte version. So I didn't put this in red. Um, itong 21K feeling ko may nahalo dito na 8 gigabytes. So this month, I made sure na all of the GPUs from this model that we're looking at were the 16 gigabyte version. So the average price is 24K, 24,500. 9070, slight price drop for only around 300 pesos. U97 XT, may price drop then of around 700, 800 pesos. The B580, still an attractive offer. So this is the GPU from Intel, mga roughly against the 4060, 5060. It's at 17,000 pesos. Much lower than the 5060 and even lower than the 4060. So price to performance, very good tong B580. It's just that there are some doubts about yung driver stability niya and overall performance. Although to be fair to Intel, they've come a long way since their first GPU. So pa-improve nung pa-improve tong Intel GPUs. If you're looking for good bang for your buck, the B580 is attractive. Especially if you're the kind of person that you don't mind mucking around with drivers, trying to see what's optimal for your setup, optimal settings for what you like. You, you can, if you're comfortable tweaking, the B580 is a good choice. On to CPUs, AMD 9800X3D is cheaper, which is good because it's a very good CPU for gaming. 7800X3D also cheaper by a lot, almost 3,000 pesos cheaper. 7600X, cheaper by around 800, not bad. Slight price increase for the 5600X, very slight. And a very slight price increase for the 5600G. Overall, the CPU market is usually more stable. The prices don't fluctuate as much compared to the GPU market. And it's good that the AMD CPUs are holding strong. They are the preferred CPU now of a lot of customers. Mahirap kasi yung position ni Intel ngayon. Although, we'll just go back to the Amazon sheet. You notice that the 9800X3D is 13% more expensive here sa atin. Mas mura sa states. Intel CPUs, top of the line, Core Ultra 285K, around 100 pesos cheaper, very slight price decrease. Slight price decrease for the 4900K, decrease for the 14700K, and a decrease also for the 265KF. So actually, all of the Intel CPUs that we track for the month, they have gone down. That's not something we see often. Market perhaps reflecting the soft demand for Intel CPUs. Okay, so now we have the shop deep dive. I like doing this so that you can see how I made the sausage kumbaga or san galing yung mga summary na kaka-discuss lang natin. Also here we have the average prices per shop. And then I also break down how many samples. Ideally, we want four samples. So each of the stores that we track had the model that we're looking at but sometimes that's just not the case and i do note them because sample size does go into the usefulness of the data kung two samples lang one sample it's not really a good average kumbaga of the market and as i mentioned in the introduction we have kicked out roy r.i.p roy yeah we we update prices manually if you've been watching the latest price watch episodes i tried to use ai but ai sucks Ang bulok nung you know, there's a lot of hype about AI, but it's really not there yet for even these kind of simple tasks that, you know, a human with half a brain like me can do. So we've been doing this for almost three years now. We update the prices, mostly manually now. Of course, the models change over time, but the historical data of the models you can see down here below. So for 
the, the beginning, since the beginning, October 2022, we've had Roy in the mix. But as mentioned, we've kicked out Roy starting this month. Hello to Husker. And the we kicked out Roy because it wasn't giving us good data anymore or rather data that we could use. A lot of the models that we were tracking, wala sila. Husker seems to have solved that problem because it has all of the models that we track. So to get a better snapshot of the average price of the market, you know, it's important na we find these really big shops and we see how much they're selling the cards for. So quickly lang through the individual shops, 5060 went up, 5070, 5070 Ti, 5080 all went down for Wedge. And 9070 XT also went down for Wedge. Husker, no comparison yet because it's the first month we have him. In general, though, their prices are sometimes competitive, sometimes in debt. For example, yung 5070 Ti, pinakamura nila is 60,450 compared to Wedge at 54k. Joker at 55k and the cheapest si Wash at 52k. Yung interesting dito kay Husker, hindi talaga siya hardware shop. I mean, it's not solely focused on PC hardware, but it's you know one of these big retailers that's in the general space. Um, but their inventory is good in terms of what they have and sometimes their prices are good too. Like itong 3050 is actually cheaper with Husker compared to Wedge. Joker you know, some price increases. So their 5090 went up, 5080 went up, 4060 went up, although their 5060 went down by just very slightly compared to last month. And then slight price increase also for their 1650. Slight price increase for the 9070 from them. Last month, it was at 43,000. Last month, and then this month, it's at 44. Wash. Wash is a good shop in terms of, you know, it, it has good inventory and usually has good prices. So we've actually seen price drops from them. Not as many price drops as last month. If we take a look at July, we can see na daming price drops GPU-wise last month. But um, at least they haven't gone up. So they've maintained those price drops. And some have even dropped even further. Like itong 3050, 5070 Ti, 5060, and the... I think it has the cheapest 9060, sorry, 9070. Yes, it has the cheapest 9070 at 40K. Although the cheapest 9060 XT that we found is from Husker. And again, yun nga, Husker sometimes has good pricing at 20,700. For CPUs, not a lot of movement. 7600X went down for Wedge and everything else remained the same. Husker, again, has very good inventory. It just didn't have the 14700K, which, to be fair, again, it's a more general shop. And the 14700K is a little bit older. I'm actually surprised that it was able to fill or you know, it has everything that we usually track except for the 14700K. So again, para na validate yung decision ko to replace Roy. Again, RIP Roy. Good shop. Just didn't have the things anymore that we track for price watch joker mixed bag some up some down so at least price decrease for the 9800x 3d 7600x drop and then the sort of mid-range higher tier shading into higher tier of the intel ultra 7 to 65 kf 20,500. last month it was at 22,450. so that's like a 10 percent price drop not too bad for joker and then lastly, see Wash, no price increases, all price decreases. So that's nice to see from Wash. Again, usually they have good prices naman. And just like the GPUs, I do summarize it here. Like, san yung sample size. And then the data here gets transferred to the summary. So it's easy for everyone to see at a glance, nasa na tayo in terms of pricing. So just to summarize the market, where are we? Last month was pretty good. This month, there have been some price jumps, especially actually for the higher tier, like GPUs, 5080, 5090, price increases. The sort of entry level, 5060, we don't even talk about the 5050. 5070, higher tier, yun, medyo mahal, slightly, slightly lang. The big increases really came from the 5080 and 5090. And we're seeing a nice softening in the market for CPUs in general. On the GPU side, NVIDIA has mentioned, or I saw a rumor, I don't know if it's confirmed, but I think it's like one of those rumors that everybody thinks will come through, 
by December this year, lalabas na yung mga super editions ng 50 series, which usually gives you a nice performance bump at the same price. So, ingat kayo dito. Huwag kayo maipit na, oh, you know, I'm gonna get a GPU now. Um, and then, in four or five months, you know, December, January, lalabas yung super editions, which are usually faster at the same price now. So, word of warning, if you can wait, you know, probably a good idea to wait for the Super Series. You're looking for an NVIDIA GPU. But at the same time, the prices now, like if you have the money now, if you want to buy now, the GPU prices are looking pretty good. A continuation of what we saw last month. And again, this sheet is open 24-7. You can access it anytime. The link is in the video description. It's also in the comments. And this is also where we get the data for our shorts. We have a short once a week, Sulit Ba Saturday, where we talk about the pricing situation in general of different components for the month. But yun nga, don't take my word for it. You look at the data and you decide kung panahon na ba bumili or hold muna. Thanks for watching.